Remember, Wolfpack, Carol never wore her safety goggles, and now she doesn't need them. I'm Mr. McCurdy, and you're watching Wolfpack TV. <laughs> Hi, I'm Swepa from FBLA, here to give you your second American Enterprise Day question. Yesterday's answer was President Jimmy Carter. Remember, American Enterprise Day was created on August 8, 1980, in honor of the American entrepreneurial spirit. Now, for your second question. Your question today is, what day did Jimmy Carter sign the proclamation for American Enterprise Day? Remember, only the first 10 students to tell Mrs. VC the correct answer will win a prize. I'm Swetha, and that was your FBLA question of the day. Theater, students interested in going to the Oregon Shakespeare Festival field trip, please download the field trip packet on the Theater School Loop page. A mandatory parent meeting is Monday, December 10th at 6 p.m. All Art Academy and Pathway students, there is a meeting after school today in room HF12. Make sure you come because your presence is mandatory. Now let's kick it on over to Andrew and Derek for our sports update. But first, a word from our favorite sponsors. At last. I got my license after hard work and training. Make sure you get help from the company that ensures you to be ready for the road. Because, because we're, we're all, all good. good. All, all good, good drivers. drivers. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Andrew Kagiyama. And I'm Derek Sarai. Here's your last sports update before break. Cross-country season ended this past Saturday at the Sac Joaquin section meet at the Willow Hills course in Folsom. Freshman Stanley White finished with a time of 13.47, followed by Josh Hurtado with 13.58. The sophomore boys team placed fourth overall, led by Kobe Dwellis in fifth place at a time of 12.09, followed by Lord James in 15th place. Freshman Amor Howard placed 8th in her race with a time of 14.09. Varsity runner Michael Anderson finished in 28th place in a time of 17.08. Good job on a great season. Wolfpack football had their first home playoff game on Saturday against the Christian Brothers Falcons. It was a tough battle, but the mighty Wolfpack came out on top with a final score of 19-14. This victory puts the team in an overall record of 9 wins and 2 losses. The best out of any varsity football team in school history. The Wolfpack will be traveling to American Canyon for the second round of the Division III playoffs tomorrow at 7. The Wolfpack has shown tremendous heart this season and it has no signs of stopping yet. Speaking of heart, there are two football players that have stood out all season long and they are our Athletes of the Week. Number 13, Michael Coleman and number 77, Josh Davis. Both Cub and Josh are two-way players and team leaders for the varsity football team. Cub has accumulated hundreds of receiving, receiving and rushing yards and has always seen diving, sprinting, and even vaulting for the goal line. Meanwhile, Josh is at the front lines constantly battling to either protect the quarterback or stop the opponent from scoring. Both Josh and Cub always play their hearts out every snap of the ball, no matter the circumstances. And for that, we congratulate them. Well, that's this. That's it all for our sports this week. I'm Andrew Kagiyama. And I'm Derek Sarai. Keep pushing the pace, Wolfpack. The 
our next Unity Day is January 31st. Come and join us as we learn more about each other and unify the student body. The event is going to be off campus, so turn in your applications by December 14th. Anti-Bullying Club has a meeting today after school in the Career Center. Attention all conflict mediators. You'll be taking your yearbook picture today after the meeting, so make sure you are there. Sophomore class spirit wear is available in the student store. There are still a few shirts left. Attention all you sophomore ladies, cute hair bows are now on sale. If you are a pastry or cookie lover like me, make sure you buy your box of cookies from any Avid members today. There are only $12 a box. So Lacey, would you rather eat a stick of butter or snort a tablespoon of salt? Well, since Paula Dean and I are kindred spirits, I think I'd rather eat a stick of butter. What do you guys think? Hey there, Wolfpack, it's Kayla Taylor, and I'm here to ask you, would you rather? Would you rather change the past or see the future? I would rather change the past to make my future brighter. I'd rather change the past because I don't want to ruin like, the surprises that the future has for me. Would you rather have the power to fly or disappear? Disappear. Fly. Fly. Okay, would you rather be invisible or read mine? Invisible. Would you rather marry the first person you see tomorrow or never marry? I'd rather marry the first person I see tomorrow. Would you rather ride the bench of a winning team or be the star of a losing team? Considering the fact you can't get a scholarship for bench warming, I'd rather play on a losing team. Be the star of a losing team. Well, that looks like all we have for you today. I'm Ari Reland. And I'm Lacey Douglas. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the pack is the wolf. On behalf of all of us here at WPTV, have, have a, a great, great day. day.